A very short episode coming for you today, just covering the NFC East, the worst division in NFL right now, probably one of the worst divisions in the NFL's history of divisions. College football is in full swing as well. Not really any other sports to talk about on a Tuesday afternoon with just football in action as the Dodgers took the World Series last week over the Tampa Bay Rays. So I will be discussing and breaking down every NFC East team in one of the worst divisions I have ever seen. This is All the Talk, All the Sports. I'm Gary Wenzel. The NFC East has all four of its teams below 500. Uh, the best of them being the Philadelphia Eagles at 3, 4, and 1. They're in first place. In second place, the Washington football team is 2 and 5. Then uh, third place, Dallas is 2 and 6. And in last place is the New York Giants, and they are 1 and 7. Uh, an awful division. An absolute mess, for sure. Each team has its own problems or sets of problems. Uh, they all have sets of problems. Uh, I'm going to break them down all individually. Uh, let's start with the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles, they've got problems with their quarterback, Carson Wentz. He's a good quarterback for sure. He's He could lead probably at least 10 other teams in the NFL and be their franchise quarterback. Um, what can I say? When you're fumbling the ball multiple times a game and throwing multiple interceptions in a game, which he did against Dallas on Sunday night. I think he had several interceptions and several fumbles as well. That's not good. I mean, those are possessions that you're losing. Luckily, when you're playing a team like Dallas who can't capitalize on those turnovers, uh, it ends up working out. But when you're playing a better team, basically almost any other team in the NFL outside of the NFC East, uh, they're going to capitalize off those. And four turnovers is not going to get the job done for sure, and that could potentially turn in to 20-plus points off of turnovers, so that's not good as well. Eagles have injury problems as well. Uh, excuse me, with receivers, uh, linemen, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Washington, uh, they've got quarterback issues as well. I think they found their guy in Kyle Allen. They tried Alex Smith there for a little bit. Dwayne Haskins was the original starter in the beginning of the season. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They moved him away from him pretty quickly. Uh, they got problems as well. Not necessarily injury problems. Uh, they just have lack of experience, lack of depth on that roster there. Uh, it's just a bunch of odds and ends players uh, making magic happen on the field. Uh, not really magic happening on the field. Considering you're 2-5, two and five, like 2-6, and six, excuse me, and you're two and five, excuse me, <laughs> again, uh, two and five, and you're sitting in second place in the division. Uh, that's just awful. And Dallas, don't even get me started on Dallas. I've got three of their guys on my fantasy team: uh, Zeke, Camu Cooper, and Zerline. Uh, they're awful right now as well. Earlier in the season, when Dak Prescott went down with that uh, knee, uh, excuse me, ankle injury. Uh, you knew things were going to get bad. Andy Dalton took over the job. He's got experience. Hey, it's not the worst backup ever. He gets hurt. So now you got a rookie quarterback in from James Madison, uh, not even a Division I FBS school, leading the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, they've got great weapons on the perimeter. They've got Michael Gallup. They've got Amari Cooper. They've got CeeDee Lamb, and they've got Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, they've got receivers. Uh, Danucci just can't hit them. Uh, they ran a bunch of trick plays. It worked for a little. And Elliott, is, this is where it's getting bad here. Because when defenses know that you can't throw the football, they're going to stop the run game when you've got a really, really good running back in Ezekiel Elliott. He hasn't scored a touchdown in the past two games, I believe. Uh, so it's, it's awful. The Cowboys haven't scored a touchdown as a team. In the past two games, they haven't even seen the end zone. Uh, Zerline is what they're <laughs> leading them for sure, and that's their kicker. Uh, you know, it's not going to work out when you've got so many weapons on the outside, and you've got arguably one of a top ten receiver in the National Football League in Amari Cooper, and here see and Danucci is throwing him three targets during the game. That is awful. One of your obvious number one receiver in Dallas. Uh, only giving them uh, three targets a game. 
That is not going to work. you got to be able to spread it out. He was mainly going to Michael Gallup and Dalton Schultz. Uh, the Giants, they're 1-7. and seven. Obviously, since Saquon Barkley went down real early in the season, uh, it's been a mess there. Daniel Jones, I think, is a really good quarterback. And I think if you gave him the offensive line and you gave him the weapons on the outside in a, run, a bit of a running game with Saquon Barkley, I think they can make uh, Daniel Jones look like a really good quarterback. But the Giants have injury mess as well, along with the Eagles. Eagles uh, turn it around a little bit, in essence. Can't really say that. I have the Eagles winning this division about seven and nine and one, maybe six and ten, probably six and ten and one. Uh, so it's an interesting division for sure. Uh, coaching in Dallas is awful. Injuries from Philadelphia and New York are bad, and inexperience from Washington. Uh, is all showing this season in the 2020 season. Uh, let's talk about the Fantasy Football League that we've got here at All the Talk, All the Sports. In first place, it is Caden Klein. He's 6-2. and two. In second place, it's Eli Hauser. He's 6-2. and two. Third place, it's Maxwell Lawler. He's 5-3. and three. The next four teams are 4-4. Four and four. Braden, uh, Jay, and Michael Goad. Then you got Mason Shelak as well. Actually, more. Uh, Kane Moyer is in eighth place. Uh, Kelton is in ninth place. Brock is in tenth place. I am in eleventh place out of twelve teams. This is awful. Uh, leave it in the comments. You know, just bashing me for my awful fantasy football team. Uh, things are not going good. These guys are not seeing targets. They're not getting rushes. I have Elliot Amari Cooper. Uh, and they're doing awful right now, so it's bad. I'm in 11th, but I'm not in 12th at, at the moment. Uh, that could change at any second. Uh, Matt is in 12th. Brock's 3-5, and five. I'm 2-6, and six, and so is Matt. So, I'm in 11th place. Looks like I might miss the playoffs, and I probably might wear the dress. So, it's ugly, but thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, make sure to subscribe at All The Talk, All The Sports. You can find us at social media, Twitter and Instagram, at that tag as well.